This video is the story of how I destroyed the Ratchet & Clank 2 Platinum Trophy World Record, but more than that... It's a story of revenge. So while I start, let me set the scene. Last year, I got the Ratchet 1 Platinum Trophy World Record by two and a half hours. It was an awesome video, my most viewed ever at the time. And then one day... things changed. His name was Jura. He was a dude who mostly kept to himself, doing his own speedruns, but for some reason he felt the need to go out of his way to humiliate me. So in other words, he's a bitch. I was a wreck for months. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. My wife left me and took the kids. I couldn't handle the humiliation. He even flexed on me by getting world record twice. I was about to give it all up and become a reaction YouTuber when I realized something. I didn't need custody of the kids. I needed to take something back from Jura. Something he really cared about. So I went to the Ratchet 2 Platinum Trophy leaderboards and what do you know? There he was, right at the top. 3 hours and 24 minutes. My sole fixation became dethroning Jura and taking this record away from him. So then, I trained. I'm missing a platinum bolt. Okay, where did I miss it? I forgot to do the backtrack. Yeah, yeah, that adds up. That makes sense. All right, we're still on pace to PB here. It's just gonna be a little tight now. I fucked all of this. There we go. Woo! Barely clutched it. Okay, Bolden, 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 Bolden. Yes, we get the Platinum Power, we got all the Platinum Bolts. And we should be getting all the skill points here, too. Nice, beautiful. Oh wait, shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go. Can't fucking believe I just BB'd. No fucking way. Which one did I forget? What? What a choke. So then how do I do this? Oh, I just have to- I have to shortcut to Maktar. We may not have gotten the run we wanted, but at the very least, it's a giant PB. 332.35. Not that bad. Thank you for the GG's, everybody. My training had been perfect. I knew the next run was going to be the one. All right, here's hoping we actually get the Plat Bolt trophy right now. Otherwise, we're in a little bit of a sticky situation, please. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, thank God, I was really scared I missed the Plat Bolt. No, 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 no. That should be all skill points. Do I not? There it is, super skill. Dude, I'm telling you, the delay on this messes with my brain. So Insomniac Museum, and then the Plat Trophy right after. Beautiful. That's it. Oh, come on, man. What am I doing? Bang! That is officially the Platinum Trophy world record. I did it. Finally, I could feel like a man again. My wife will come home. I'll get to hold little Timmy and little Tootie. I'll gain the respect of my family. I'll actually become someone people take seriously. He got world record again, and he hid it from me. How does this keep happening to me? Real smooth there, Jura. Real smooth. You think that you can get the world records and that I just have to sit here, right? You think that's what's gonna- it's not. And that leads us to this run right here, right now. I've created a new PSN profile with no trophies, and I'm about to completely fucking annihilate this world record. In these first levels, there's something you might have noticed. I forgot to start the timer. 
Just kidding! You see, what makes this run different is that I spent the entire night theorycrafting a new route. According to the Platinum Trophy leaderboard, a speedrun begins from the moment you get your first trophy. And this is the big mistake Jura was making. He'd do speedruns with trophies thrown in from the beginning. I'll be starting a new run where I do as much gameplay as possible before the first trophy, keeping my timer at zero seconds for the next three hours. And here on Maktar, I'm already preparing. I hit these slot machines 30 31 times exactly. This is because 31 is the minimum number of times you have to hit the slots in order to activate the jackpot. So this is 12. I can hit the maximum 30 times right now. I'm technically taking a risk on this 31st hit since it's possible to get the trophy right now, which would ruin my file. Because I'm playing on PS3, those 31 slot machine hits are stored. I can now leave the planet and save myself 31 hits the next time I come here. This also works on the next planet in Daco. There's a trophy for destroying 10 robots using the crane, so I just destroy 9 now and I'll come back later for the 10th. There's one trophy that's going to be a big problem. Remember guys, we have to keep track of the bolts. More bolts? Collect 50,000 bolts. This does not mean have 50,000 bolts. That means collect 50,000 total bolts. This is going to be really hard to work around because that's not a lot of bolts. I've got one trick up my sleeve though, Fighter Boy. One of my chatters named Fighter Boy is keeping track of my bolts because he's cute. This takes us all the way to Tabora, the desert planet, and this is where things get complicated. Welcome to the wonderful world of desert bullshit. There's a hundred crystals scattered all across this desert, and getting all 100 gives you a trophy. I'm gonna get 99 of them right now and get the last one later. That's not the problem. The problem is that there's enemies all across the desert I have to kill, meaning a ton of bolts are being dropped. I need exactly 10,000 bolts for the next planet, so I need to strike a delicate balance between getting crystals and not getting too many bolts. We're gonna try to collect 99 crystals without collecting any extra bolts without using up all of our ammo. This is gonna be a mess. Okay, so here's where it gets really scummy. So I'm almost completely out of ammo now. All right, I'm gonna grab as much ammo as I can over here. So we're at 81 total crystals. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is especially stupid. We're going back in the Maktar arena. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna enter the chain blade challenge. And look at this, there's all these ammo crates. Okay, so I'm fully stocked up on all ammo and we should be good to go back to Tabora. Okay, so we need to find seven more. Gonna go around the bolts. Okay, I'm at 10,000. So what I need to do now is I just need to make sure that I have 89 crystals. That's what I need. So here's 87 and 88. We need to find number 89. It's out there somewhere, and I believe I know where. Boom. All right, we found number 89. So now we can leave Tabora and go on and complete the rest of the run. This, this is like actually one of the craziest and dumbest things I've ever done. And look at this. We are most certainly not cashing these in because that would get us the trophy in a heartbeat. Okay, we're going on to Dabo. Heading to Dabo, there's no trophies just yet, but here's something that'll trigger longtime fans. This nanotech. You're supposed to get it with a gadget called the glider, and it's a giant pain in the ass. But in this run, it's a bit easier. It's time to speed things up with these, the charge boots. Ugh, look at how beautiful they are. We get them by winning this race, although the way we do it may surprise you. This is lap skip, and I won't explain how it works for now. Instead, let me show you how I get the Hidden Race Nanotech. Krugus Cloud takes about 30 seconds in most speedruns. So, kids, how long will Uncle Zem be here? 20 seconds? 10 seconds? <laughs> 27 minutes. 
I've got to farm Raritanium for this trophy. And I can do this on mission two by shooting mines at the space debris over and 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 over. Oh hey, I'm at 60 Raritanium. Now I get the nuke upgrade, go back to Frugus, and blow up ships over and 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 over You guys have been so good during this whole thing. Go ahead and say hi to and over 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 Now we're on Tando. I need this thing, the Sheepinator. It lets me sheep things, like these squirrels. I sheep six for now, and I'll get ten more later for a trophy. On Bolden, I grab ten thousand bolts right here at the beginning for a special surprise, and on Snivelak, I destroy ten of fourteen ships. I'm nearly done with the first playthrough, meaning the first trophy is coming up. But before that, it's time for the surprise. I need a weapon that can melt the final boss. A weapon so broken, so easy to use, so unbelievably powerful, that it'll rip the boss a new one. That's right, it's the spider bot. No, seriously, this is gonna kill the final boss. But first, we have to upgrade it. I go to Grelbin and skip all the way to the end with a fancy side flip. I blow up all these juicy protopets, which gives me a solid chunk of XP. Now I reload the game, and this is where it gets sick. Normally, in this game, when you reload a level, all the enemies give you much less XP than they did on the first visit. However, when you reload Grelbin, these stupid little protopets give you 150% more experience. Check out how fast I can upgrade the spider bot with this. Nice, okay. Nice, 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 nice. We did it and barely got any bolts. With my newly upgraded tank bot glove, I can finally show off this insane final boss strat. So I make my way over to the final boss, and then I leave. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, we can't kill him just yet. Soon though, very soon. First, I need to get a trophy so we can finally start the run. So, I start with the most problematic trophy in the entire game. Wrench Ninja 2. Kill all enemies with a wrench and without dying on planet Joba. This trophy is so insanely bullshit, I had to make an entire video teaching people how to do it. The funny thing about this trophy is that you don't really need to kill enemies with only the wrench. You can kill them with nanotech blasts, and you can even kill them with turret fire. But sometimes, with this skill point, Things just go wrong. My biggest fear is getting the Bolt Trophy and not getting Wrench Ninja 2 for some reason. I'm really scared of that, because that'll just start the timer and completely mess up my speedrun. Okay, moment of truth. This should be the first trophy and the timer will begin. Let's see. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. The skill point didn't work. There's only two ways to fix this. The first is to reload the level. The scary part of reloading is that there's no guarantee this will work, and I'm really close to getting the Bolt Trophy. The best case scenario is that the skill point just works this time. Okay, don't kill me. Please. Bro, why no skill point? I reload one last time because I really don't want to do the second way of fixing this. You see, the second way is to quit the game and go to the PlayStation 3 main menu. This is guaranteed to work, but it removes all my storage setups. But my greed very quickly ends up being my downfall. No! Oh my god, I got the trophy. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, the timer starts. Now the worst of both worlds has happened. I grab too many bolts and pick up the trophy, starting the timer, and I have to quit the game. This is at least a five minute time loss, and it's gonna get worse every time I fail the Wrench Ninja skill point from here on in. The only way to stem the bleeding is to get this skill point right now. Please, for the love of God and all that is holy, give me the skill point. Please, 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 please. Yes! 
Yes! Okay, good. The run is actually completable now. Now it's time to cash in on some easy trophies. First, I grab the final Tabora crystal to heal my chi. Okay, on to killing Chainblade. This is Chainblade. Chainblade! Chainblade! I've gotta kill him with just the wrench for a trophy. Now normally this is a bit tricky, but I have a fully upgraded wrench. I also cash in all my hard-earned crystals, getting me the trophy for collecting 100,000 bolts. After that, it's time for the last ship upgrade. Now, after all this time, I finally get to show you how this tank bot glove is so broken. I have one warning to give you. Unironic seizure warning. If you are sensitive to flashing lights, please look away from the screen for the next 60 seconds. You can count it on your timer. 60 seconds exactly, okay? Okay, nearly finished. Okay, I'll explain. The key is how I throw the tank bot out. I double jump just before throwing the first tank bot, then I pause, swap to a different weapon, unpause, pause again, swap back to the tank bot, and throw one more tank bot just before the first tank bot lands on the ground. This is called spider bot stacking, and now I control two of these guys at the same time. This lets me mash X and damage the boss on every single frame. One of the most annoying bosses in the entire series is decimated in about 12 seconds. Great, that's the end of the first playthrough. You guys can look now. And look at that. We beat the entire game, and we're only nine minutes in. From here, it's time to go through the early game and pick up a couple easy trophies, including the slot machines I lost my progress on. One, two, three. I gotta leave my shots better than that. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, we gotta get the gamble skill point now. Dude, I was- I was gambling on that. Please, for the love of God and all that is holy, give me the skill point. Give me the skill point right now. Just do it. Just give it to me. How many times have I hit this goddamn thing? Okay, cool. Almost got it. Jeez, the weed. Okay, now you're just teasing me. There we go. Mother of God. Here on Barlow, there's a trophy for beating the race in under two minutes and 10 seconds. But just like before, there's a pretty insane skip. That might work. No, that was close though. I'm still not great at this trick. That's not gonna work either. That's too far to the right. I have one frame to jam Ratchet into a specific spot in this wall. Doing it right hits the second to last checkpoint in the lap, letting me go backwards over the finish line to skip to the next lap. Nice, okay, there's one lap. Just two more. Based. That should work. No. Yes! I'd like to honor a fallen soldier. His name was Dan, and he was a snowman. Look at how handsome he is. Sadly, I had to kill him trophy for it. The worst part is I blow him up off screen. Poor guy. Now, some of you may be wondering how the hell I'm going through these levels so quickly, or how to learn to do what I do, or even just what the f*** is going on in general. I won't be explaining all the tricks I use here, but I do plan on making an in-depth video on Ratchet 2 100% speedruns once I get the world record. If you'd like to follow my journey to world record live, feel free to follow my Twitch stream. Link is in the description. Now, things get hard. Here on Tadano, I had to get two skill points at the same time. I have to blow up these rockets and protect these tourists from a bunch of killer squirrels. No, 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 no! God damn it, man. I greeted too hard. That's okay. Today's L's are tomorrow's W's. No, god damn it, man. Gonna focus up here. Third tries the charm. No more greed. No. No more. <laughs> No, do not walk off that cliff. There we go. Goodbye. 
That's what they get for causing me so much pain. From here, I sheep 16 squirrels to get one last trophy, and I'm out of here. And now, I'm about to show you something that's gonna blow your fucking mind. This is Ratchet 2's most broken strategy ever. It's called Quit Exploit. Heading to Planet Gorn, we can do Mission 2 over and over again. This gives me tons of bolts. And I'm going to do this mission until my bolts are between 983,100 and 1 million 48,576. Bolted down, there we go, got another trophy. Once I'm in this range, I save over a totally different file. We're gonna save over this. I now do mission two, two more times. This puts me between the bolt values of 1,048,576 and 1,114,112. And now the very last thing to do is just quit the game. That's it. That's the entire strategy. So what did I just do exactly? To show you, we need to head to the desert again. Remember how I said there's a hundred crystals here? Well, Quit Exploit has something different to say. 3,668 crystals cashing in for a total of 36 million bolts. An actual infinite money glitch. And if you can believe it, that's still not enough. 36 million isn't bad. It's not bad. I'll explain why, but first I get a bunch of trophies. One for 2 million bolts, one for buying the Rhino, one for buying the Zodiac, and one for buying the Carbonox armor. Quit Exploit makes it so every single time the game auto saves, I get more and more crystals. That means I can scam this guy over and over again, eventually getting to 363 million bolts. That's so many bolts that it doesn't even fit on the the HUD anymore. Not bad for a day's work. But that's not all Quit Exploit can do. Check this out. And you know what? I'm also going to kill some enemies along the way because why the fuck wouldn't I? This seven seconds of footage is so strange. The Lancer starts at yellow with zero XP but then immediately upgrades to blue. To show what's going on, let's use another example. This is a Mega Mini Nuke. It's a yellow color, which is the second highest level after blue. To go from yellow to blue, you normally need to kill tons and tons and tons of enemies. Every single person who 100% of this game growing up remembers spending days upgrading all their weapons. Using Quit Exploit, I'm about to upgrade every weapon from white, the very first level, all the way to blue in under 10 minutes. The reason this works is that Quit Exploit ties enemy XP to the amount of bolts that I have. 80 million is the magic number. Once you're at or above this bolt count, you can upgrade every single weapon in the game to the next level off of one enemy. By the way, this isn't even close to the limit of what Quit Exploit can do. But if you don't know what you're doing, do not try Quit Exploit. You can seriously risk bricking your entire file and losing it forever. But what you can do is like this video if you feel like you just learned something really cool. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll show you how you can can use quit exploit to put the levitator from ratchet 2 into ratchet 3 but enough of the nerdy explanations for now you're here to see me get some trophies it's montage time baby sean cue the music beautiful now i can kill myself upgrade all of my weapons and then go again and we get a skill point for upgrading every weapon at least once No, it did the thing! Huh? Huh? Okay. Okay, good. We're gonna have to kill one extra guy. Nice. Beautiful. All right, let's do this.
And we are done with nanotech. Break all of these, grab- oh my god, dude, this is going so smoothly. There's no way that anything could possibly go wrong from this point moving forward. <laughs> Listen, everything is fine. You guys need to learn to relax a little bit, you know, like smoke some ganja and have a good time, you know? See, look, we're already back. Oh, is it big head time? Great point. We got to turn on big head mode. Skill point. Skill point. Beautiful. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, I'm actually so cringe. I'm moving closer. <laughs> Finally! All right, here we go. This should be one of the last ones we have to do. There we go. Skill point. Okay, I gotta break all the buildings. All right, so we should be getting a skill point very soon here for breaking all buildings. Skill point. Nice. I always forget about those purges. Burge. Now it's time for the arena, one of my favorite parts of this game. There's tons of missions to choose from and hundreds of enemies to blow up, but there's only one mission that actually matters. The Impossible Challenge. 60 rounds of non-stop enemies. Thankfully, the Rhino and the Plasma Quail are pretty busted. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. And we're going to get a trophy for being the impossible challenge. Fantastic. Here on Damazel, there's a skill point for riding the grind rail all the way to the end without taking any damage. Casually, this can be tough because there's obstacles everywhere. Speedrunners, however, have a strategy for this. Surprised? Allow me to elaborate. Jump into the wall, take damage. That's right, take damage. Glide back onto the rail. Land. High jump, turn around, glide. Glide again as I'm landing, which lets me double jump. And because I double jumped, I can go into first person mode, spam square against the wall, and climb all the way to the top. Charge. Cancel the charge with the Rhino, turn while hyper-striking, and long jump as I land. And even though I took damage, I skip to the end of the section and get my favorite trophy in the game. Then, we save this bank from these stupid little guys. One of the last big obstacles of the run is here on Grelden, the ice planet. Just like the crystals in the desert, there's 101 moonstones scattered all over the map. Here's the problem, though. I haven't memorized it yet. Anytime you do this in a normal speedrun, you unlock a perk that lets you see where every crystal is. But in this run, I skipped the boss that unlocks the perk. So right now, I have to just trust myself and go full throttle. Okay, it's time. Crystals. Let's do it. There's 14 down in this first area, that's no problem. It's up here that's the problem. The area is deceptively big and I have quite a few problem crystals I tend to forget, so I made sure to be as thorough as possible. I ran through the map in my head carefully, making sure to think about each and every crystal. Alright, I gotta really trust myself here to get all the crystals. I know where they all are. I know where they all are. I just gotta do it. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, this is gonna be so tricky, chat. Do I know where all the crystals are?
Holy shit, that actually, like, jump scared me. Holy moly, gamers, this is getting down to the wire here. We only have 11 minutes left to beat the world record by a full hour. Okay, let's see here. I was confident I broke open every single crystal. Is that the last one? Oh no, this is the nightmare scenario. But of course, I was one moonstone off. Oh... Fuck. Okay, logic would dictate that the most obvious place, the most obvious place that it would be is around the perimeter somewhere over here. I already checked all the way around here. It's not on the left side. I already checked the northeast, Jack. Motherfuck, man. I have an idea of where it could be. Is it not like around here somewhere? This is insane, man. I don't know where to go. Are you kidding me? I hit it, but then it didn't fucking snap to me, man. Oh, okay, that's infuriating, but that's okay. This game sometimes, I swear. Do you know how upset it made me to lose my Ratchet and Clank 1 Platinum Trophy World Record to you, Jura? You didn't even tell me. I found out from my YouTube comment section. You didn't even just beat me, either. You humiliated me. But now, I get to show you how it feels. I gotta play very solidly now if I want to get 207. That's the goal. Platinum power. That's all the platinum bolts. Okay, good, 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 good. I was really nervous that I missed some. Let's see here. Special skill points, 29 of 30. This is it. We just need to do this. Then we need to go to the Insomniac Museum, and then it's GG. No, what am I doing? Oh my god, I'm so cringe. We got this. Okay, okay, we're good. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, we gotta spend all the platinum bolts now, and then we just go to the Insomniac Museum. That should be the trophy for all skill points. Oh my god. And get ready, gamers. Insomniac Museum trophy coming up, and then the platinum to follow. Museum tour, and here it is. 20551. We did it. We cut the hour. Let's fucking go, man. This crazy, stupid experiment worked. I can't believe it. With that, I registered my run on PSN profiles and I officially became the world record holder for Ratchet 2 Platinum Trophy by over an hour. Well, I was the official world record holder, but then the mods manually removed my time from the leaderboard because they thought I cheated. So, if you want to see my totally real, not cheated speedrun, you can watch the full, unedited video over on my second channel, linked down below. Or you can watch a different video of mine by clicking here. Thank you to the patrons for your continued support, and special shoutouts to Jura for being a crusty bitch.